The fight over blue lines is headed to Congress. That tops tonight's Garden State Express. Our first stop, Hillsboro, where last fall the town painted a thin blue line between the double yellow ones along their streets to honor law enforcement. The Federal Highway Administration ruled blue lines displays are in violation of the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices for Streets and Highways, as the color is reserved to delineate handicapped parking. Representatives Leonard Lance and Bill Pascrell are now sponsoring the Blue Line Use Exception, or BLUE, Act to permit blue lines in support of law enforcement. 135 police officers in the nation died in the line of duty last year. Next to Princeton, where 100 satellite operating center employees took their eyes off the skies for a scant three hours and instead turned their tech skills to building 14 wheelchairs for vets in need. The chairs will be distributed to affordable housing for vets here and at national monuments in Washington, D.C. Finally, Camden, where the Waterfront South Theater joined more than 700 theaters in all 50 states in the Ghost Light Project. In theater tradition, once the stage lights and house lights go out, a single ghost light is left on. At precisely 5.30 p.m. on Inauguration Eve, theaters everywhere joined in lighting a light to signify their acceptance of everyone in the theater community, regardless of race, creed, sexual orientation, or immigration status. The South Camden Theater Company's artistic director called it shining a light in the darkness. And that's the Garden State Express for Friday, January 20th. Something up in your town? Tip us off.